I'm LaShonda Scales, your commissioner for District 1 and president pro tem for the Jefferson County Commission. It's about business today and it concerns you. What are we talking about? Your water and sewer portion of your bill. We're at the Birmingham Waterworks Board meeting and I want you to hear the ask of what we were talking about today on behalf of the county. We appropriated $1,250,000 on last week in our budget. We're asking the Waterworks Board to match that money so that we can help low income residents in Jefferson County. Take a look. And so the reason why we're here today is because uh, the County Commission recognizes you all know and participated uh, and some of you all attended. We had a town hall meeting which took place in April at Regents Field and you got the opportunity not only to share with your customer base as well as our constituents uh, the many services that you offer which is very valuable but we also got the opportunity to hear and to listen the affordability or inaffordability of our residents and so what we did in an attempt uh, to hopefully bring some sort of relief is to appropriate one million two hundred fifty thousand uh, dollars out of our general fund uh, that will come in cooperation with a 501c3 they will administer it and we're in the stages right now of developing or crafting everything but then i heard some great news which is the fact that management is in the process here of you all's budgeting as well and that's where we are today is that we wanted to make an official ask. Uh, one of your board members, uh, Dr. Monthus, met with uh, the commission president, which is Jimmy Stevens, and uh, they were talking about, good morning, good morning. board member, and, uh, and so they were talking about uh, the Waterworks Board's participation, that if we were able to set aside funding, that we would try to ask for the same match. And, uh, and so I'm glad to see uh, board member Marcus this morning uh, since he made that ask. And with that ask, we also uh, took under consideration what we could do. And so basically that's what it is today. It's just to, for the record, to make sure that we are asking of the Birmingham Waterworks Board to help us, whether it be through your foundation or however it comes, so we both can provide relief to the same customer base. They Next, you'll hear from our finance chairman, Joe Knight. He's gonna talk about the fact that we're in the developmental stages of this initiative. However, we are on a fast track and we're on the move. Good morning, thank you all for allowing us to be on your agenda at, at, at such a notice. We have uh, appropriated this 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 money mm -hmm. for this project. I know that it's been, it's not a, it's not something new. It's been around for a long time. It's been talked about. Uh, and when you were with Commissioner Stevens and I met with you all a couple of months ago, um, uh, I, I think he was in favor of moving yeah. forward on this. And we, what, we, what we, will, we have done is we have set aside the funding in our budget for this. To answer your question, who does it? What's the parameters? That's, that's something that has to be worked out. And of course, legal because you know there's challenges out there already. We're hearing you can't do that and that sort of thing. So we're having our legal team assess it fully because what we won't don't want to do is start a program and start helping somebody, and then we have to get tied up in court for years and spend money for for attorneys and get caught up in it. So uh, we appreciate you all's involvement, and um, I, I I echo her um, request, and that is that. Hey, if it's something we can work together on, that'd be great. Next, you'll hear from Commissioner Tyson. She will talk about her concerns, not only for seniors and our low income residents, but she also is talking about a solution, which is having to deal with workforce development along with Birmingham Waterworks. Your director, he's, he's really on top of things. Okay, I've, I've yeah. met with him uh, on, with workforce development he, when I say yeah. he's on top of it, he's on top of it. So you got a lot of stuff that he would be bringing to you, even with the Jefferson yeah. County. Well, we got a new assistant up. general manager, Mr. Derek Murphy, who's very much interested in workforce development. Yes, I've already talked to Derek. And, 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 I, and based Murphy on the way this economy is working, 
Commissioner Knight is absolutely right. There is a shortage of skilled labor right. and even a bigger shortage of unskilled labor. Right. And people get skills, they earn an income. This would help bring down some of this crime. We have a, I think a motion to put second. it to the mm -hmm. audience, and I think that's exactly where it needs to go. Second. We have a motion to second. Uh, I don't think there's any further discussion. All in favor say aye. 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 Okay, we'll put it into the next finance uh, committee meeting. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you. Thank yeah, you guys. Sure. Thank, Thank you, guys. You. So let's recap exactly what happened today, Commissioner Scales. Glad you asked. I want you to be fully informed. I'll just say, uh, Chairman Furbish, uh, just to recap our request is if you all would partner uh, with the county, uh, we will not um, administrate whatever you all come up with, whether it's through your H2O Foundation, whatever the case may be, all we're seeking for is the partnership and the collaboration of where we can provide sewer relief in terms of 1250000 water relief mm -hmm. in the amount of <coughs> $1,250,000. This is just the beginning. Uh, the 19 years that you said it was like over a million dollars, and here we're coming out the gate matching your $1 million, <laughs> except we're adding $250,000 more to it. So all we want us to do is to have one voice. That People will never know we had this conversation except it goes out of this building. A lot of times we're in the four walls and because we only see paper and ink, we don't realize the authority that we've been given to change the lives of people. And so here's an opportunity where I think we can make a best of a bad situation. People want solutions, they don't want us to keep talking. So listen, we got a lot of work to do, but I told you, I want you and I to be the change that we both want to see. Continue to like our page at LaShonda Scales, She Works. Share our information. Most of all, keep tuning in. Progress, progress, progress in Jefferson County. Thank you.